Hi, I'm Mallory Brooke, makeup artist and content creator here on YouTube, and today I am going to show you five low maintenance lip colors for fall. So no lip liners needed, we are just talking, you want a fall vibe, it's quick, it's easy, and it's low maintenance. So let's get into it. The first low maintenance fall lip shade that I want to talk about is the new and newly released Say Glossy Bounce in Push. You're seeing me apply it now. This is a really nice, true brown lip gloss. This formula is so beautiful. Let me just tell you, obviously I have it on. You do not need a lip liner with it. If you do prefer a lip liner, I would use something like Max Oak or Strip Down. I think that that would be a beautiful base for this lip gloss, but this is all about being low maintenance. So throw on a lip color and you go, oh, it's fall, you know? No needing to take too much time with these lip shades. But this is a really nice, true, warm brown, and the formula of this lip gloss is stunning. It is very, very shiny, as you can see, but it is very comfortable and it is not sticky. So if you're looking for something that's not sticky, but lasts and is like very moisturizing to the lips, I think you will enjoy the new Say Glossy Bounce formula. My favorite shade is definitely Push because it's brown, it's fall, and it is just so beautiful. I would say this has a medium coverage to it. You saw me apply it to my lips, but definitely medium coverage. It's not full coverage and it's not so light that like barely anything's there. Obviously I don't have this over anything at all. So this is what it looks like. And I think it is stunning for fall and a really quick, easy way to turn your makeup look into a pure fall look with just couple swipes. This next lip shade is definitely like a pop of color, but it has enough orange undertone in there to really be something for fall. This is the Laura Mercier High Vibe Lip Color in the shade Peak. And I love this because it is full opacity. It is full coverage. It is a lipstick lip color, but it is so easy to apply because of the shape of it. So you really don't need a lip liner. And you're seeing me apply it now, but you can apply it all over your lips and then take the edges of it to line the lips and it looks beautiful with or without lip liner. Again, this entire video is about being low maintenance for fall, low maintenance lips for fall. But if you are looking for a lip liner that would go well with Peak, I would highly recommend Anastasia Beverly Hills in uh, lip liner in parchment or something like Max Lip Liner and Spice to give it a little bit more of a deep pink vibe, but totally beautiful on its own, just like the rest of these. Again, this is Laura Mercier's High Vibe Lip Color in the shade Peak. All right, the next low maintenance lip for fall is, I'm gonna take a quick break and thank today's sponsor, Dossier. If you're not familiar, Dossier creates fragrances inspired by high-end and designer fragrances. Dossier's fragrances start at $29, when high-end and designer fragrances can cost you up to two to $300 sometimes. And as someone who is an avid fragrance lover, do I know the cost of a good fragrance? So that's why I am so glad to be working with Dossier again this month tell you what my picks are for this fall you guys know i about panicked when they had the release of their home goods and i cannot get enough of their room diffusers this month i'm featuring ambery vanilla i featured their other scents in the room diffusers before but i'm so excited to be featuring this because this is inspired by ysl's opium and i have worn ysl opium for years it's one of my favorites the top notes are mandarin pear pink pepper and licorice middle notes jasmine orange blossom, base notes, cedar wood, patchouli vanilla, and coffee. If you're not familiar with YSL Opium, it smells like fall with a sweet twist. So imagine musk, a little fruitiness, a little sweetness, but there's enough edge there to like not make you sick. I wanna feature Dossier's Ambery Tuberose, which is inspired by Diptyque. The top notes are orange blossom, rose, and middle notes are tuberose and daffodil, base notes, benzoin, musk, and orris. This smells so good. It's a little metallic with the benzoin in there, 
but it's very floral, but it's like rounded enough to not be like offensively floral. If you want to smell like a very youthful, wealthy old lady, which I mean, boy, do I. I love fragrances like this. This is the one for you. The next fragrance is brand new to me, and it is inspired by Victor and Rolf's Good Fortune. This is powdery jasmine. I have worn Victor and Rolf's Flower Bomb for years, and this is like Flower Bomb had like a floral musky baby. The top notes are ginger. Tiana, I don't think I'm saying that correctly. Fennel, exotic fruits, middle notes, white flowers, jasmine, orange blossom, base notes, vanilla, amber woods, and gourmand notes. Very floral, but rounded enough, again, to not be too overwhelmingly floral. It's like, yeah, flower, flower bomb had a musky floral baby, if you can imagine that. Also, you can use my code, MalloryB5 at checkout for an even extra discount. And if you are a first time customer with Dossier, you get a 20% welcome offer and you can use my code on top of that. And if you want to save even more money, select catch at checkout. Thank you so much Dossier for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back into it. M Cosmetics Soft Spoken Lipstick in Wednesday. I think that this is a beautiful wine stained type of a shade. Now here's the thing, you can use lip liners with all of these, like I said, but this is not a lip combo video. If you would like to see my first installment of my fall lip combo picks, I will go ahead and link that in the info below, but I will also list other recommendations for lip liners for these lip products as well. But the M Cosmetic Soft Spoken Lip Color in Wednesday, like I said, is a beautiful kind of wine stained lip. The applicator itself, you can apply like a lip liner. You're seeing me apply it now. And the tip of it is just very pointed so you can get really nice precision and not have to go in with a lip liner. And this lipstick actually like lasts throughout the day. So it's super low maintenance for such a nice, beautiful, bold lip. And it's soft on the lips. A little goes a long way. When I first tried this formula, I made the mistake of applying too much and then it felt slip and goopy and I was like, ooh, what is going on? And then I realized just a nice thin veil of this lipstick is all you need to get that nice, really beautiful blurred lip. This wears down beautifully. This is not like a transfer proof liquid lipstick, but it's definitely one that lasts and is comfortable on the lips and it gives you that really nice soft lip look, soft spoken. Again, this is the shade Wednesday, which I think is really Really beautiful for fall, especially with like just mascara, you know, throw on cheek and mascara and soft spoken lipstick and Wednesday girl. Mm fall vibes. The next low maintenance lip color is YSL's Rouge Volup Candy Glaze Formula in the shade 03. This is almost like Wednesday, but glossy. If you are not familiar with YSL's candy, Rouge, Rouge Volup Candy Glaze Formula, it's like a gloss and a stick. It's not too sticky, but there is some stick there and it makes it last. This wears down beautifully as a stain. And I highly recommend applying this and you're seeing me apply it now, but but I highly recommend applying this to the lips right in the center, the majority of the pigmentation, and then blurring out with your finger. That will help disperse the pigment and feather it instead of like getting it all over. I remember the first time I tried this color, I just like slapped it on because I thought it was more like a tinted lip balm. I wasn't familiar with the formula or the pigmentation yet. And I was like, whoa, that's all over my face. And I was like in a rush and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so glad I caught myself in the mirror before I walked out the door. So there is a little bit of maintenance with this, just an application. This is highly pigmented, but once you apply it and disperse it with your finger, kind of feather it out, it wears down so beautifully. And once it's like completely gone off the lips, it leaves like a really nice pink stain. But I think this is a really great alternative to a matte berry lip that we see so often in the fall. It gives you a little bit of life to the lips, a little gloss. So if you're feeling extra dry or you feel like your lips are dry, the YSL Rouge for Lip Candy Glaze formulation is perfect for those days. And again, this is the shade 03, which I think is just so beautiful, so fallish. 
The next lip color is the most low maintenance out of all five of these. It is In Beauty's Lip Glaze in Merlot. This gives you a really nice sheer wash of like a Merlot stained lip. But since it's a lip oil, you get the benefits of that moisturizing skincare in there. I love In Beauty's Lip Glazes. I've raved, I've raved about them for years. I literally fell for an Instagram ad and purchased the first one they ever released and I've been hooked ever since. But this shade Merlot and the number on this is the glaze and number nine is so pretty and really just gives you a nice kind of glossy wine stained look and you do not need a lip liner. And since this is the sheerest out of everything, you can get a little messy with it. Wear this with no makeup at all. I keep Merlot and the Mystery Glaze in my purse at all times, no matter what, because they both give me really nice life to my lips and are just absolutely great to have on hand. So if you're looking for something that's like a sheer wash of fall color, but also there is skin loving ingredients in there, I think you will love In Beauty's Lip Glaze in Merlot. I have a discount code. I'm not quite sure if it's still active, but if it is, you can totally use it. It's not an affiliate <laughs> uh, discount code, but everything in the info box is an affiliate link if I can help it because it's what I do for a living. So thank you for shopping through my links and using my code to help support this channel. And uh, yeah, so this is In Beauty's Lip Glaze in Merlot. I feel like a lot of their lip glazes get buzzed, but this one doesn't and it is one of my favorites. Really quickly, I wanna swatch all of these on my hand because last lip swatch video, one of you mentioned that, hey, it would be nice to see these swatches on your arm, hand, whatever, because the uh, pinkness in your lips kind of throws everything off if you don't have the same shade of lips. And I was like, yeah, that's a great idea. Usually I do stuff like that, but I was trying to make it quicker. But here, I'm gonna give you hand swatches of everything so you can see what they all look like on just a very pale white sheet of paper, pretty much. So these are all of my picks for low maintenance fall looks. You'll have to forgive the messiness of the candy glaze swatch. But anyway, here we have the Say Bounce Gloss. Gosh, the Glossy Bounce in Push, which is that really nice caramely true brown. And then we have the Laura Mercier High Vibe Lip Color in Peak. And then we have the M Cosmetics, so, uh, sorry, Soft Spoken Lipstick in Wednesday. And then we have the YSL Rouge Up Candy Glaze in the shade 03. And last but not least, we have the In Beauty Lip Glaze in Merlot, which is what I'm wearing. And these are all of my picks for a low maintenance fall lip. And again, if you would like to see my fall lipstick and lip liner combo video. I will link that below. I love doing these videos every year. So I hope you enjoyed this new little twist on things in this second edition of my fall lips. I would love to know what your low maintenance fall lip picks are for this season. So leave those in the comments below. Please give this video a thumbs up if you do enjoy my lip swatch videos. Lipsticks and lip products in general are my favorite products to purchase other than blushes and then trying out concealers or just like so fun for me. So let me know if you enjoy these and subscribe if you haven't already. We'd love to have you in this beautiful, wonderful, positive community. And I will see you guys in the next one. Happy fall. Have fun with your fall makeup. What is your favorite season for makeup? Mine is definitely fall. <laughs>